All right. So I told you I'd be back Monday to do a little video. Um, this is going to be a short video, a little introduction, and a uh, just a short story. Um, going for a spooky one today. You can see my ambiance going along. We'll see how this works. It might be too dark for me to post. But either way, I'll still tell the same story if I have to redo the video. So what Monday's videos are going to be is um, they're going to be story videos. Because, um, you know, once you start on the magical path, it just, stuff doesn't just happen on uh, full moons and new moons and when you cast circle or whatever. Um, magical stuff can happen in your daily life and a lot of the time you should miss it. <laughs> so this will just be stories. It might not last all that long. I mean, just me talking to the camera might not be what anyone wants to hear. But yeah, so Mondays are going to be magical story time. Um, tonight's story is actually not going to be all that magical. It's going to be a little spooky. Because um, I like that too. And uh, real big into the paranormal and things like that. So this happened when I was living in Louisiana. About... I don't know, maybe five years ago, six years ago, around there. Um, I have this weird habit. I don't like to do housework when people are up. <laughs> For some reason, I don't know why. It's just, I just prefer doing housework at night when everybody's asleep. And uh, my husband, at, my husband at that time um, he's still my husband. I'm talking about what he was doing at that time. Uh, work nights. So both of my boys were asleep and I have another weird habit too. I like to do housework with all the lights off. Usually just the light from outside coming in through the windows or anything like that. I mean, yeah, dusting and stuff, you need the lights on. But you know, when you're washing dishes or something like that, um, or just picking up, I just keep all the lights off and just have like the, um, just the lights from outside on, um, cause we always kept our porch light on and our neighbor's house was pretty close. So their porch light would come in through the kitchen window, but the house usually was pretty dark. And I don't know what time it was, but it was late cause my boys like to stay up. So it's probably like one, two o'clock in the morning. And I was standing at the sink washing dishes and you know how you get that feeling that someone's like right behind you just watching you it's sort of like that little that little twitch in between your shoulder blades and the back of your neck yeah I got that and I didn't hear a door open anywhere so and I knew my kids were asleep and it was really dark and so I'm just standing there and I'm like, I don't want to turn around because something's going to be behind me. I don't want to turn around. But I was washing dishes and I just set the dish down and I looked up out the window. And I'm like, just do it. They're not going to go away unless you turn around and look. So I took a deep breath. And I turned around to the opening of our doorway that led from the kitchen into the living room area. And it was dark, very dark. But you know how your eyes get used to the darkness, so it's not quite that dark. But standing, kind of peeking around the corner, kind of like looking in, was this outline of person. He, they weren't very tall. They were probably maybe from the way that they were peaking, maybe five foot, a little bit taller than five foot, kind of thin, but they were all this dark black shape. 
And as I was looking at it, because I just turned around, focused on it, the face had no features, just this black, empty, blacker than the, than the darkness around it. And I was looking at it, and it was looking back at me. And then all of a sudden, it smiled at me. And I got this huge, almost Joker-like grin with all these white teeth that were just one row. Just, just this Cheshire cat Joker-like grin. And it just smiled at me. And I wasn't afraid, but it startled me. So I started laughing. I just grabbed the grabbed the edge of the sink and I bent over and I was just laughing and I pointed at it and I was like, no, don't do that. You're not allowed to scare me. And then it just sort of went back behind the wall. And I just stood there for a second and then, you know, I ran and turned on all the lights. Because while I love the spooky, I can still get freaked out by the spooky. And that freaked me out. So yeah, that's my little story about one of the times that I'd seen something creepy when I lived in Louisiana. And if you liked this story, drop me a comment. Um, I just, Or maybe you have a story of something spooky that happened. I would really like to hear that. That would be awesome. I would love for you to tell me something spooky that happened to you. I love those kind of stories. Um, and next Monday, I will tell you about the time I met a fairy. <laughs> okay? All right. I'll talk to you later, guys. Have a good one. And y'all enjoy y'all's spooky night.